Please welcome DLC nominated candidate for district director, Jennifer Perry Rizzo. Question one, what is your vision on how and, your and how your team will achieve the district mission? My vision on how my team will achieve the district mission is for all of us to work together and to get as much help from everyone else. The work that we need to do in our district to help all of our clubs and to create new clubs requires everybody's input and support and help. So for me, the focus will be working together as a team to meet that objective. All right, thank you. Question number two, what can you and the district do to get more people excited about being a part of the leadership process? Something that I think that I can do to get people more excited about the leadership process is to show how fun it, fun it is. Whether it's working on a small project for a short period of time or taking on a longer role or position, having those little successes and having fun with others while you work on something small could lead to something bigger. I have done this in the past with people and I have seen them grow and take on more responsibility. And I really hope that as district director, I can show more people how much fun you can have in district leadership. Okay, thank you. Question three. Tell us a time where you sacrifice where you sacrificed your personal goals to achieve a goal for the greater good. A time when I've sacrificed my personal goals for the greater good. There's many. For me, I work in research and I'm always trying to find new ways to do things. And there was a time I wanted to learn a new project. I wanted the project. It was going to be exciting, but I wasn't quite ready for it. And it was going to be better to have somebody else take the lead instead of myself. And so instead of pushing for it and asking for it, what I did is I allowed the other person to take the lead and I kind of watched what they did and learned from them. That way in the future, I could take the lead. I know I'm not perfect in everything. And sometimes I know I'm not the right person for the job. And I think you have to realize in that situation, what, it's okay to take a step back because there will be a chance later on. All right, thank you. Question four, how will you ensure that the district stays within budget? How to ensure that the district stays within budget is to come up with a decent plan at the beginning. We know up front how much money we're going to have to spend in certain areas. And I think one thing that we can do more of is reach out to various vendors to see if they offer a nonprofit rate or if they'll do something for free. One thing I did when I was TLI chair, feels like forever ago, was I reached out to a food provider and got breakfast donated. When they sent me the bill, it was a $1,500 breakfast that we got for free because I just asked them, hey, would you be willing to donate breakfast for the TLI? And I think we can use more of that asking and getting help in the end to make our money go further. All right, thank you. Question number five, what procedures should be implemented to ensure district leaders are conducting themselves according to the Toastmasters core values? I think that in order to make sure that district leaders are conducting them to core values is they should be, they should realize that everybody's watching them and people should be able to point something out. Many times people misbehave and they think that because of their position, they're allowed to misbehave. And I would be more than willing to listen to anybody who says, I saw somebody do something and I don't think it's right because it's how we grow. We get feedback. Sometimes it's negative and sometimes it's positive and we try to 
improve on our feedback and grow and district leaders should be held to the same standards as everybody else if it's not okay for someone else to do it then it shouldn't be okay for somebody who's a district leader to do it as well okay thank you All right question six with the shift from online to hybrid meetings how will that affect our approach for high club quality I think with the shift, it's going to be a learning curve. Having attended a few hybrid meetings, because I work in a corporate setting where we have the technology available to us, it isn't necessarily an easy adjustment. We're going to take time and then to learn, to get everything right, to figure out how to make the computer work and project with the speakers. So I think that eventually we'll be able to have high quality meetings. And I th think instead of focusing on the negative, oh, this didn't work right, let's try to focus on the positive of, hey, this went really well, whereas we can improve in this area and try to tweak it and have suggestions on how to tweak it and go to experts. It's part of why I reached out to Marcus Seppel at the beginning of the year is because hybrid meetings are so important. So as we learn and grow, just give yourself grace. You won't be perfect the first time or even the second time. Eventually you'll get there. And I think we will once again have very high quality meetings. All right, thank you. Question number seven. Where do you see the district on June 30th, 2023? Where I would like to see the district on June 30th, 2023 is a place where people feel empowered to try something new. I was told by the region advisor when I was club growth director that this is Toastmasters. If we make a mistake, we learn from it and we're not going to kill Toastmasters. So it should be a safe place for us to try something new just as it is in the clubs as it is in the district. And I would like to see by the end of my term where we are a district that does support each other, that does encourage everybody to grow and to try something new because without everybody helping with the district, we will not be able to reach our goals and it won't be as much fun. Thank you. All right, and that, and that wraps it with our DLC nominee candidate for district director, Jennifer Perry-Rizek. Thank you.